Amazing Grace is being featured in the Fudge magazine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello, what's up, guys? My name is Percy, and I am the Guinness World Record holder for the most number of fast food restaurant toys. And today, um, we're not going to feature a uh, toy, but instead, we'll be talking about this wonderful, wonderful magazine, the Fudge magazine, wherein they feature, um, you know, Willy Wonka from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So this is basically a really old magazine. This is actually <laughs> the first feature for me and my toys. So I am so very elated and very excited when uh, I was asked by the staff, the you know, the wonderful people from the Fudge magazine, Annie Alejo, and uh, my writer was Felix Antonio. <laughs> they did a splendid job uh, for my story, and I couldn't be more proud of this particular feature in the Fudge magazine. Okay, so this is actually their first anniversary issue. Okay, let's browse into the inside and then see if there's really an article written about me. <laughs> Okay, okay. I thought uh, I might have lost it. Okay, so this is it. Look at that. There it is. This is a wonderful spread about my story. <laughs> As you can see, they did a wonderful graphics of uh, some of my toy collection, and then it would appear that I look like Buzz Lightyear in this particular design. I think uh, during the time that, the, uh, that this was being made, um, there is this uh, amazing uh, popularity of the Toy Story and thus they have to recreate that <laughs> to make me appear like Buzz Lightyear, okay? And it's so nice. Um, the title is Singular Pursuit, a Percy Gay Collector Extraordinaire, written by Felix Antonio. So we have to acknowledge those people. Okay, uh, Felix Antonio. And the photo courtesy of uh, me and the fudge man. Well, that's uh, Num de Plume for the, whoever the guy was responsible for the <laughs> photograph. So this is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is really great. Wow, I wish I could read it to you all. <laughs> okay, but I think I might have posted something in my blog uh, that has all the text uh, in this particular article and it's really amazing it's uh, basically like a Q&A uh, type of stuff and uh, it's a retelling of how I started as a collector and you know what's so, surpri uh, what's so surprising is that during the time that this was made I wasn't even yet a Guinness World Record holder <laughs> so um, uh, during the interview uh, there might have been some prophetic questions that uh, were raised up like uh, for example uh, yeah I think uh, Felix sort of asked if I wanted to you know because basically the collection is one for the books so wouldn't you want it to be in the Guinness World Record and then I had to secretly tell him yes actually it's in the works it's uh, being applied already <laughs> and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that um, it will eventually come to fruition that uh, this uh, pursuit of actually being part of the Guinness Book of World Record will actually come to pass. But I kind of uh, kindly uh, asked him not to mention it in the book because it seemed uh, premature that uh, you have to put it in the book that you want it to be in the Guinness and then only to find out in the end <laughs> that, you are, that you're not even qualified to actually be in the Guinness Book of World Records. But we kind of um, uh, agreed that it has a potential of actually making it to the Guinness Book of World Records. So we waited and after a couple of years that uh, uh, that something uh, we talked about actually came to pass. It was fulfilled and uh, so uh, this is like a precursor <laughs> or something like a a prophetic um, article that would somehow pave the way for that uh, grandiose <laughs> a reality, that of being a Guinness World Record. Uh, I mean, this is like the, the meat of the cake and the Guinness World Record is like the icing uh, that somehow completed the, this amazing, uh, wonderful cake uh, that is my collection of uh, fast food toys. 
Okay, so this is it. This is an amazing article and very unforgettable one at that. And I just love it that, uh, yeah, that I sort of look like Buzz Lightyear here. <laughs> A lot younger version of myself and uh, yeah. I think I wanted to actually make it larger, this particular poster. It's like a poster, don't you think? And then probably have it uh, framed uh, and then be one of those amazing displays uh, in, my, uh, in my home. Uh, just to usher in um, the visitors that this is indeed an authentic... <laughs> Uh, I mean, this guy is really serious about when it comes to collecting toys, <laughs> which I am until now. I never cease to get fascinated with the toys, um, you know, especially the fast food toys, which comes out every month uh, from Jollibee and McDonald's. Unfortunately, some other fast food had sort of stopped. I'm hoping that they will actually bring it. Like Wendy's, they used to come up with all these amazing toys also, which are definitely distinct from McDonald's and Jollibee. KFC uh, all of a sudden yeah, uh, stopped from producing the fast food toys. So I sort of missed it. I wish um, these other fast food joints uh, would reconsider about coming up with their own kitty meals <laughs> together with the toys. And of course, uh, they uh, definitely add color and um, uniqueness to my collection. Okay, <laughs> so that's it. So uh, I must say this magazine and this feature article is just an amazing grace <laughs> so once again guys thank you so much uh, for tuning into percy's fast food toys and let us be thankful for all the amazing graces that come into our lives be they in the form of uh, a feature article about you on a uh, fudge magazine or whatever magazine there is or having your your collection validated by some people by actually coming up with a really great article such as this or just be thankful for every amazing grace be they big or small be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones but just about every amazing grace that come into our lives that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly so um, thank you guys for tuning in to Percy's Fast Food Toys and I hope to see you in the next one so, bye for now and see you again. Bye-bye!